So this is a story I want to share with you. In high school, in the ninth grade, I was a basketball player. I was a very good basketball player. And that's not bragging, I just was. So I made the varsity team in the ninth grade. I was a very good student. That's not bragging, I just worked at it. So I was really, really proud that I was a good student and that I was a good athlete, really proud. Because everybody in my family pretty much was athletes. When I was in the 10th grade, after having had that great year of being on the varsity team in the ninth grade, when I was in the 10th grade, that's when I was a part of forced integration. I went to an all white school, my family and a few others. And the one, two things I was sure of, they were gonna like me because I was a good student, but they're gonna like me even more because I was a great basketball player. I was just gonna be just in the in crowd. I really thought that how innocent I was. I was dead wrong. When the coach though, finally got up the nerve to tell me I was not going to make the team. I didn't take it well, I must say. And I asked why. And he said to me, because we don't have a uniform that will fit you. We don't have a uniform that will fit you. I was 15, usually not mouthy with adults, but I said to him, even I could have thought of a better excuse than that because you know that's code. You know that's code for your black. I was not needed, I was not wanted on that team. In other words, I was shunned. Just like these kids are going to be shunned. There's no reason for me not to get to play. And there is nothing in the science that should cause these girls not to play. Transgender girls are girls. They are girls. And we keep calling them biological boys because that's convenient. I can tell you all day you are 6'10", but if you're, if you're 5'4", you're 5'4". So I'm only sharing this because this was something precious to me. And it has stayed with me after all these decades, what it meant to be shunned by adults who were supposed to have my interest at heart and who did not. Decades later, it's a wound that won't close, but when I realize that's a good thing probably. Who wants a wound that's open all the time? But what I realized, it's a good thing it's open because it reminds me every single day, don't treat people this way. Always be the adult who will stand up for kids to find a place for them, not exclude them. I didn't get to play basketball for one year. That's all it was, one year. We are trying to exclude these kids forever. I ask you not to do this because we are better than shunning kids. Let's be the adults who stand up for them and find a way to let them play. That's all I ask of you. If we vote for this bill, we're not letting them do the most natural thing in the world, and that's to play.